uma nova oportunidade para mim. This is a new opportunity for me and for my career. It's a different challenge, especially considering I've spent five years in England. Now I'm moving to Chinese football, where they're offering me a fresh start. It's been the talk of the football world. High-profile players making big money moves to the China Super League. Brazilian midfielder Ramirez was one such example, swapping Chelsea for Jiangsu Sunning. There are certain times in life when you have to make decisions. I was at Chelsea for five years, but over the past few seasons, I wasn't playing regularly. I wasn't in the starting eleven, especially in the last few games, when I wasn't even brought on as a substitute. So when I got the offer from China, it was like a breath of fresh air. I had the opportunity to experience a different competition, to move to another team, to move somewhere where I could rediscover my football, and to be happy playing as I was before. It's very different because the Chinese players speak their own language, Mandarin. But we also have a Brazilian here, Samir, and an Argentinian, Escudero. So I chat to them in English, and that's helping me a lot because I can practice my English. I've actually been speaking more English here than I did in England. At the helm of Jiangsu Sunning is another former Chelsea player, a Romanian legend, Dan Petrescu, was instrumental in bringing Ramirez to the club. He'll be able to help me a lot, especially because I think it's easier when you have a coach that used to play. Well, perhaps not easier, but it's better when it comes to instructions and when he needs to explain things to you, because whenever he says something, he knows it because he's experienced it himself. His arrival is very important, but I still believe we need to buy a few more players to reach the same level as Guangzhou, Shandong and Shanghai. He brings lots of experience and Brazilian quality, but he can't do it all on his own, that's too hard. We need more players. Our aim is to win trophies, so I'll do my best to help with that. And I hope more players come to join us on this quest, to win as many titles as possible. After leaving Cruzeiro in 2009, Ramirez spent a season with Benfica before joining Chelsea in 2010. There, he won five trophies, including the Premier League, FA Cup and UEFA Champions League. It was a big learning curve, a unique experience, especially because there were players who, before I'd even started, I'd already played with them on my video game. So when I arrived at Chelsea and saw Terry, Lampard and Drogba, I couldn't believe it. I think any time you win a title or play in a final, it's going to be a memorable experience. For any player, these are the most important moments of their career. Playing and winning a final. So when you score in a final, you'll never forget it. That final was against Liverpool in 2012 and we ended up winning the FA Cup. And that's something that will stay with me for the rest of my life. However, my best moment at Chelsea was that same year, specifically the chipped goal against Barcelona and also winning the Champions League, a competition the club hadn't won before. So finally winning that trophy with Chelsea was a great achievement. Ramirez has made 51 appearances for Brazil and played in two FIFA World Cups. And he has his sights set on Russia 2018. Chinese football has a much bigger and better reputation than it had before, because there are lots of players coming here now. So I hope to do a good job here, and I hope to be selected for Brazil again. And there's still a lot of time until the World Cup, so it depends on me, on my will and determination here at Jiangsu if I'm to be recalled again for the national side. And I'll play as if it was my first experience of a World Cup. And I think if I have the chance and the opportunity to play at a third World Cup, I'll be very happy. And I'll work very hard.
This might be my last chance to play at the finals. And possibly even win the trophy. So I'll do my best to help my teammates. And maybe win the World Cup I've always dreamed of. Of course, it's very difficult, but you never know. If God gives me the opportunity, maybe this time around, I will win it.